Welcome to Just Facts Academy. In this series, we focus on our standards of credibility, seven standards that help you research like a genius. In today's lesson, we'll focus on clarity. Now, the definition of clarity should be <laughs> clear, but let's define it. Look at an example of why it's so important and discuss how to use it in your own research. Clarity simply means easy to perceive or understand. This is important when conducting good research because it lessens the chance of misinterpretation. Now, vague language can be unintentional, the result of lazy writing, but it can also be, as George Orwell puts it, consciously dishonest. You've probably heard of Orwell. He's best known for writing his books Animal Farm in 1984. He also wrote a famous essay entitled Politics and the English Language. In it, he argues that the present political chaos is connected with the decay of language. And this was back in 1946. Much of this essay directly addresses the issue of clarity. For instance, he says certain words are used in a consciously dishonest way. That is, the person who uses them has his own private definition, but allows his hearers to think he means something quite different. No one would ever do that today, right? Unfortunately, this is all too familiar. Politicians make ambiguous statements while avoiding precise language that could be used to hold them accountable. News sites publish bold headlines with bold implications, but in context, the full article is much less sensational. Let's just say there's no shortage of clickbait. Whether intentional or not, a lack of clarity has caused much confusion during the COVID-19 pandemic. The words COVID-19 and the coronavirus are often used interchangeably, when in fact, there is an important difference between them. Let me explain. COVID-19 is in fact caused by a coronavirus, but just one type among many different coronaviruses that exist. Coronaviruses, which include some that cause the common cold, are a family of viruses that tend to mutate rapidly. This means that naturally acquired immunity typically doesn't last long because the virus rapidly changes. However, and this is key, the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 does not share that trait. Genetic research shows that it does not mutate rapidly. It's very vulnerable to antibody neutralization, and it shows no unexpected signs of adaptation. Simply put, even though COVID-19 is caused by a coronavirus, this new type is very different. Hence, naturally acquired immunity against it tends to be potent and long-lasting. Now, that doesn't mean you can't get COVID-19 more than once. It means that it is unlikely to harm you after the first time you get it, as long as your immune system isn't compromised by factors like poor general health, drugs, heavy alcohol consumption, or sleep deprivation. As a result of not understanding the difference between coronaviruses in general and the specific one that causes COVID-19, some journalists spread excess confusion and fear around this issue, which is also hazardous to our health. Now that we've seen how a lack of clarity can be dangerous, Let's discuss how to avoid these errors in your own research. It's actually quite simple, but it requires hard work. Whether you're researching or writing, always ask yourself, can this be interpreted another way? If so, you have more work to do. If a word or concept is unfamiliar or seems vague to you, look up the definition in a highly credible source, not just the first news article you read. Don't forget to read the context. I'm not just talking about the surrounding sentence or two, but actually read the whole article. Yes, that's more work, but it's worth the effort. It's more than just a grade. If there's any uncertainty or a disconnect in logic, write to the author and ask them to explain. This is much easier than it sounds because most scholars and serious authors have web pages with their email or a simple contact form. You'll be shocked at how accessible and helpful they can be, especially when you show genuine interest in their work. If they don't reply, don't settle. Find another source that's crystal clear. None of this requires a high IQ. It just takes effort, which is something we all can give. And please, don't make the same mistake in your own writing. Remember the golden rule. Don't confuse others, as you don't like being confused. That means don't use vague language and be vigilant to ask yourself, can this be interpreted another way? So make sure you apply this clarity principle, along with the rest of Just Facts standards of credibility, so you can research like a genius.